Good day everyone. Today I'm showing an absolutely beautiful waterfront home located at 141 Point View to a lovely couple in my hometown of Burlington, Ontario. Hello! So we're going to get that started in a few minutes, but before I do I wanted to discuss a topic that came up yesterday with another couple in PEI that's trying to potentially develop some land. So essentially what they have is a piece of land. It's a rectangle. It's, I forget what it is, if it's 40, 50 acres. It's on a paved road and it's a major route, it's Route 13. So the step number one was to make sure we could get access permission. In other words, we've got clear lines of sights, no obstructions, it's not around a, a turn. So I talked to TPW, Transportation and Public Works, they gave us the thumbs up, just like you're going to do with this video hopefully. So basically in 2006 approximately, a lot of things changed when it comes to subdividing land. No longer could you just draw a little bunch of rectangles and squares on a napkin, hand it in and get a stamp from the government and approval. You can no longer do that, haven't been able to do that for at least 14, 15 years. So the process is essentially you would construct or get a preliminary drawing done up. I would first talk to Access PEI just to get a soils map to know what potential parts of the property can be developed if it can't all be developed because of lowlands, springs, streams, rivers, or waterfront. I uh, also need to know any sets, uh, setbacks from uh, the tree line if the tree line is in fact protecting the shoreline from erosion. So that's important to look at. Access PEI can answer all those questions. But the most important two points I'm going to make in this video is number one, if you go over five building lots on a single feeder street slash laneway road, you're into TPW standard roads, which could turn a $30,000 project into a $2 million project without exaggeration. That's why you're seeing in the last 14 to 15 years a lot of subdivisions that have only five lots off a single feeder street. Now in this particular case, since we've got oodles and oodles of acreage, I recommended we had have two feeder streets, as long as the provincial government grants us permission to do that, then we could have 10 lots in this acreage and that would be super cool and would greatly increase the value of the property opposed to just selling it off as raw acreage. Lastly, what I indicated to them is tax structure. So when you go to sell land, let's say you buy 50 acres for $30,000 and then you chop it into lots and you sell the lots off for 100 grand a piece, you will pay income tax or capital gains on that that gain, that profit, just like you earned it on your job. So if you're selling these lots under your own personal name, the income tax in Canada could be absolutely horrific. So I suggest talking to an accountant as well and potentially setting up a corporation. I'm not an accountant, I've just been down this road so many times, I know it's always, most of the time, a very good idea. Have a great day, thanks for watching. We're gonna get this house sold today. If you have any high-end waterfront property to sell, you know where to find me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.